the One Voice Foundation, CEO, His Excellency Mr. Antoine Collegian. The foundation was created as part of the One Voice for Christians initiative of the Royal House of Ghassan. The ultimate goal of the One Voice for Christians initiative is the creation of the Middle Eastern Christian Council to strongly represent all denominations of Middle Eastern Christians as a major international political and diplomatic player and the Council's Observatory to centralize all the information regarding persecuted Christians in the Middle East. The source of the Christian is here in the Orient. The Christ is born here. He has preached here. He has lived here. He is dead here. He has resuscitated here. Was it the Christian Oriental? There would not be any Christian Occidental. I believe that a diplomatic activity diplomatic des contacts à haut niveau de la part de la Fondation qui a peut-être les moyens d'arriver à ces hautes sphères, de travailler à changer la mentalité des dirigeants occidentaux. Je suis très touché et je commande M. Kalajian pour son travail merveilleux, même pendant la pandémie. Être capable d'organiser cette campagne incroyable, donnant 60 tonnes de bébé formula avec plus de half a million de dollars in partnership with Caritas France and Caritas Lebanon. I think the, the history and the, the place of Christians in the Middle East is uh, not something that's, uh, I think, um, broadly understood or as well understood as it should be. Uh, so uh, the fact that the, the birthplace of Christianity was the Middle East, the fact that the, some of the most ancient Christian communities in the world are in this part of the world. Um, the, the apostles preach there, Christianity spread in this land. Um, and I think sometimes that we need to do a better job of explaining that that's the case and also that, um, that the Christian, uh, fellow Christians around the world are facing tremendous hardships. That there were a million and a half Christians in Iraq in 2003. Today, there are less than 250,000. That shows how urgent this situation is. Uh, not only did ISIS, uh, of course, make it worse and target Christians and Yazidis and uh, Shia Muslims and all kinds of other people that they just disagreed with, uh, but um, uh, Christians were also already being persecuted and so this was just an additional kind of persecution. People don't believe the situation is this bad, but if nothing major is done, we have no more Christians in the Middle East in less than 30 years. They will either be killed or they will migrate to Europe or the Americas. I think the persecution of Christians is one of the most urgent matters of our day. And I think that it's very possible that within my own lifetime, certainly within the lifetime of my children, that Christians could be almost gone or completely gone from the Middle East.